good morning everybody so happy wednesday today is my second workout video for pot syndrome and i'm just showing you what i do on my um, workout days which is monday wednesday and friday and it depends on how i feel but i try to you know do at least two to three times a week of working out um you know hopefully i can finish out the whole routine and um Otherwise, I take little breaks and I pace myself. And like I told you before on my first video, make sure you consult with your doctor first on what is a good exercise regimen for you. I'm just showing you what I do um, based on my uh, doctor's advice and my capabilities. But please make sure you talk with your doctor before starting any exercise regimen, especially with um, pot syndrome or any other illnesses so what I like to do first you guys is warm up warming up is so important it kind of loosens um, you know all your muscles and gets your heart to start pumping and it's just nice to you know warm up that way you don't get hurt during your exercise later on now you can do lateral type warm-ups where you're laying down or you can stand up if you're feeling okay so that's what I'm going to do just like yesterday or the other day on Monday. So I'm just going to go ahead and just start doing some stretches. Okay, so now that I'm done warming up, because it's so important to do that, I am going to start and show you a few of my exercises that I do uh, on this little mat here. And we have my little cutie pie Maddie to join me <laughs> for today to join us. So what I'm going to do, I just took a break, got some water. Remember with POT syndrome, just to pace yourself, don't put too much pressure um, on yourself and I just kind of remain calm and and just try to go at my own pace and I take as much breaks as I need to so go ahead and do that if you feel the need because you're tired you can't breathe um, and that's what I do I just take little breaks okay and remember you guys if you don't want to wear tennis shoes in the house from outside you can buy like a cheap affordable tennis shoe like I did um, it's just a you know really affordable tennis shoe from Walmart and I just wear these for inside the house okay so like on Monday I'm gonna go ahead and this is my basic Wednesday workout remember I have uh, motivation Monday workout Wednesday and fighter Friday so my workout Wednesday is when I try to kind of do the most that I can I try to kind of push myself in the middle of the week 
So I'm going to go ahead and do some stuff that I did yesterday. So with your hands um, palm down, palm face down, back straight and looking forward at eye level, go ahead and do the leg lifts, 10 of them, and then rest. And I keep my toes up because of my piriformis and sciatica issues. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I take a little break and do the next one, the next leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I just kind of stretch and try to touch my toes. And then I'm gonna do another set of those. And I'll speed it up for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and lay on my back. And then I'm gonna do the bicycle pedaling again. And I'm just going to hold and tighten all my muscles. And I'm going to do this for about 30 seconds. And then I'm going to slowly release. Okay, now I'm just going to do leg lifts. I'm gonna take my left foot, my left leg, and put it straight down. And with this leg, I'm just gonna lift as high as I can and hold it. And then the next leg. And this just lets me stretch all the muscles that are stiff. And then slowly release. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the scissors again. A 10 count. Legs up and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and hold, and stiffen the muscles, stiffen the gluteus too, the glute, the butt muscles, and you're gonna feel your body kind of shake, and then I slowly, after holding it, for like 10 seconds, I'm gonna slowly release and put my leg down. And I take like about a 20 second break because it takes a lot out of me. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do one more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. Tighten all the muscles, including your butt muscles. And then this time I'm gonna hold. So you're gonna feel your body kind of start shaking because you're stiffening all the muscles. 
and then slowly release. Okay, so now what I do is I try to do a little bit of workout on my stomach and I just kind of lift up a little bit. One, two, and I'm tightening my stomach muscles. Three, four, legs together, feet together. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, on the 10th, hold it and tighten your stomach muscles. 10. So hold it as long as you can. And then release slowly. And I'm gonna do one more set of that for the stomach. Remember to take a break as often as you need, get some water or rest. Okay, one more set, you guys. Maddie wants me to play with her, but I'm trying to exercise, Maddie. Okay, one more set. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it. And then slowly release. You guys, I only try to do two sets because if I do three, sometimes it takes a lot out of me. So lately I'm just doing two sets of everything. Okay, so I am almost done with this workout, guys. Um, for those of you that do regular workouts, I know this is very low impact, but remember this is for POT syndrome, um, for my case of having POT syndrome, so I definitely try to do low impact as much as possible. Okay, so for those of you that wanna work on your glutes, this is what I do. Because on Wednesday, I try to do an over, you know, a whole body workout. So I just go like this and I just uh, keep my back straight, head up, and I just start with my right leg and I just lift up my right leg and I do 10 leg lifts and I hold it on the 10th. One, and tighten your butt muscle while, while you're doing this. Two, and your stomach muscles also. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and hold it. Tighten the muscles while you're holding it. And I try to hold it as long as I can. And when you are done holding it, make sure you release slowly. Okay, slow release. Make sure you're inhaling, exhaling. Do the other leg. One, keep your posture straight and your head up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and hold as long as you can. And slowly release. Whew. So I'm gonna do one more set and speed it up.
Okay, so now we, I'm going to do a little bit of weights. So I just sit Indian style. You can start with any pounds. I have the one pound and the five pound. I don't know where my three pounders are. I think my kids had them. <laughs> they put them somewhere in their room. So if I'm, you know, not feeling too strong for the day, I do my ones. Otherwise, it's usually ones, the one pound and the three pounders. But I'm gonna work on my arms with the ones and then maybe go to a five if I feel okay. So I just kind of keep this one like this at a rest with my wrist up. With this right hand, I put it straight up and I go out as far as I can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I slowly release. Then I put this wrist up and work on the left hand. Straight out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth, I hold it and then slowly release. Okay, so sometimes I will do two to three sets of that depending how I feel. Um, and on the days I feel good, I'll do, instead of a 10 count, I will do a 20 count. It just, I just kind of base it on how I'm feeling uh, for that day and how motivated I feel. But 10 is the minimum that I do. And I try to do 20 sometimes. Okay, now both. So straight out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly release. Okay, now I'm going to do the front. Palm up or wrist up. This one is straight forward. And I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, and I'll speed it up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that is done. So, so if I'm going to do fives, it has to be when I'm feeling good. But let me put that one down. So I can do two hands sometimes if I'm doing fives. So let me show you what I do when I'm doing fives. <sighs> Breathing in and out regularly, okay? <sighs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I hold it for like ten seconds and you could feel the burn. Okay, and slowly release. Whew. Okay. Going back to the ones, I'm going to show you another thing that I do. Let me, uh, okay. So going back to the ones, if you want to isolate the muscle, 
um, you can go back. Remember, usually this can be done standing up, but because with POTS syndrome, we wanna sit as much as possible, right guys? Okay, so what I do is I lean forward and I go like this. Let me scoot up. So what I do is I lean forward and instead of standing up, we're gonna do the sitting down because we have POTS syndrome. So I go like this. I take my arm out all the way and then I only bend the forearm from the elbow down to the wrist. I don't bend the, the upper arm. So I'll just isolate it. Try to keep your posture a little bit straight, your arm right here. So I isolate it, keeping the upper arm up and I only move the lower arm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. Ooh, I can feel it shaking, but it feels good. Okay, slowly release. Feels so good. Okay, if you need to kind of shake it out. <laughs> okay, so with the other one, again, lean a little forward, but keep your body straight arm rested right here the other arm you're going to work on make sure the upper arm is straight you're only going to work on the lower part of the arm one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10, hold it a little bit, all right. Now if you wanna do both, you can also do that. Okay, and at this time, you guys, when I'm working out, I just try to fill my mind with all kinds of positive healing thoughts, you know? Thoughts of uh, just feeling healthy, feeling happy, feeling good, uh, having good memories in my thoughts of past good memories, or maybe hopes for the future, you know, good hopes, positive feelings, just anything positive because when your mind is right, your body will follow, you know? So remember your thoughts are so powerful, you guys. All right, here we go. Go forward a little bit, arms up. Only work the lower arm, okay? Arms up, tighten the stomach. One, two, you're gonna feel it burn on your upper arm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and squeeze. Keep your upper arm up. It's easy for it to come down, but keep it up. And let go. All right, you guys, so that is one of my uh, workout Wednesdays that I just want to show you. And the next video is going to be on Friday. And I call that day Fighter Friday because, because it is towards the end of the week already. It's the last day of the weekdays. And that day, I try to give it my all. So I definitely fight on Fridays with just, you know, everything I have. But of course, keeping everything low impact and at my own pace. All right, so if you like this video, everybody, I hope you uh, subscribe. I hope you press the like button and let me know, you know, if you did like it. Leave any comments in the se comment section below. Um, and let me know some of you out there with POTS syndrome, what you're doing as far as your regimen. Um, what are your thoughts on this video? Um, I love constructive criticism at all times. All right, thank you so much everybody and hit the bell symbol to be notified of my future uploads and we will see you soon. I will see you on Friday. Thank you again, bye-bye.